Hey there, I'm Meg, and if you've been struggling to resize rectangles in Canva, this video is for you. I have totally been there, and I'm kind of embarrassed to admit how long it took me to figure out how to do it. So this video is me sharing with you how to crack that code. I will meet you on Canva in just a bit. So here we are in Canva, and it doesn't matter whether you're working with a print flyer or a social media graphic, the rules of the rectangle apply universally. So for the purposes of this tutorial, I'm just going to create a social media graphic. So here I am in the design dashboard. And if you have tried working with rectangles before, you probably went on over to the elements button, which is what you wanna do. And the shortcut for finding a shape is just to start typing it in. And all of these results will come up. Yes, some of them are squares. And I'll show you why. So I used to use a rectangle. It was black. And I have not been able to find it lately. So I've just been clicking on this one to use for examples. And it does have that annoying little drop shadow. But not to worry, we're not going to be working with rectangles anyway. No, we are not going to be using the rectangle shapes to create custom rectangles. I will show you why. You'll notice on rectangles, there are these four circles in the corners. This means that you can resize the shape proportionally, but we want to be able to adjust the width and the height separately. And it's so annoying, you cannot do that with rectangles. So what you have to do is use a square. So even though I typed in rectangle, you'll see that a square pops up. This one is the best one. It's that gray one. And these four lines appear on the edges, which means that we can adjust the width and the height to whatever we want up to that point. There are always limitations, but it's a lot more flexible than the regular rectangle. And once we get the shape to where we like it, we can also use those four circles in the corner to adjust proportionally. So that is how you create custom rectangles in Canva. You really want to use the square. If this was super obvious for you, a high five. It honestly took me a bit to figure out, which is why we have the tutorial. And before we end this tutorial, I did want to point out that these square rules do not apply when you're working with a frame. So we're going to head on down to frame. And we're going to pull up this square frame. You'll see that just like with the rectangles, you only have the four circles. So you can only adjust this thing proportionally, which is super annoying. I really hope Canva changes that. So in order to make a photo into a custom shape, what I would recommend doing is getting your shapes where you want them. So like, let's say that you're going to do this and you can also use grids for this grids are basically templates but i'm one of those that i kind of like to be crafty and do things custom so don't judge me this is not going to be a perfect a perfect grid okay so let's say that you want to put photos into these types of shapes and none of the grids that met your fancy. So what you can do is you can head on over to your uploads. These are your photos or you can use Canva photos. Some of them are free, which is pretty great. I'm just going to use my uploads. Sometimes if you are super meticulous and patient with this, you can plop the image right into the shape. This has only happened to me maybe once or twice. Typically, you cannot do this. If you happen to figure it out, please let me know in the comments. I would love to know. But what I have been having to do is I just plop my shape in and I'm literally going to use these shapes as a guide. And I can double click on my image to move how I want it to be cropped, which is pretty great. Let's use this one. And that's pretty much it. One thing to note is that the image, the sorry, the shape is still going to be in the background. So you can delete it or if not, it, it shouldn't show up when you download your design. The image should hide that. So basically, that is how you create a custom rectangle in Canva. Again, use the square. 
And as with all shapes, you can change the color. If you'd like to learn more about Canva, check out my online Create with Canva course. It covers more tutorials like this one, as well as how to set up and organize your Canva account for ultimate efficiency. Plus, the course can be completed in less than an hour. Check out my link in bio below to find out more.